All right, guys, just a quick video how to remove your, uh, actually, we'll call this how not to remove your strut shock spring with ratchet straps. This is, uh, at best, a dangerous procedure. So I'm going to do the whole liability thing and tell you not to do this. I'm going to show you how I do it but I don't suggest that anybody does this. So, your ratchet strap. I use three because the probability, in my opinion, of three failing and killing me, I, I would think would be slim. I mean, it may be great. It may be absolutely humongous. but I like the odds of three. So I just get one strap on there like that. Cinch it down a little bit. Get you another strap. And I'm sure there's a million different ways to do this. I like to run this up. I've only done this a handful of times. I'm far and away not a ratchet strap. Shock spring expert but I'm actually having to redo this one because I didn't get the top pad aligned oof I didn't get the top pad aligned and it's all crooked now I gotta do it all over again I thought I had it and I don't so I don't know how I did that but so anyway Another video, I guess while we're doing this, we could talk about how ridiculous my hair looks. My hair looks ridiculous. Been letting it grow out, and then the other day we were sitting at dinner, and I was talking about cutting it, and the kids were like, can we cut it, and blah, blah, blah. So I let the kids play with the, I let the kids play with the old uh, clippers. And then uh, I called to get an appointment to get my hair cut. The lady that cuts my hair, I was like, no, I don't have another appointment until Wednesday of next week. So, I guess I look like Krusty the Clown for a little bit. All right, come on now. My strap's crooked. Straightening it out. Yeah, so the reason I'm doing this with ratchet straps is because this is this is a Honda uh, shock and, and spring combo, and the uh, this like the standard O'Reilly McPherson style um, is too big. The claws get in there and they start hitting the dust boot. You got to find another way. So. That's why we're here. And if you'll notice, I've got the, uh, the ratchet strap as far down as I can because you're gonna be working it like this. And this is gonna compress. So if you had this mounted way up here, it's gonna get in the way of things. So I don't suggest that. Um, before you start ratcheting all this down, obviously, Eye protection and whatnot. Although I think if this were to explode, eye protection is going to be. You probably want a helmet if you've got a got a helmet of some sort, medieval helmet. Maybe use that. All right. So just try and get this. I mean, what I found works best in my limited experience. Is kind of spreading the load out here. But it actually, it's pretty impressive how simple and quick this goes. So I just got done talking about iPro and I'm not wearing any. But I'm pretty committed to the fact that if this breaks, eye protection is the least of my worries.
So then you just kind of snug it up. And you, your heart rate's through the roof here. All right, and then this is a 14 mil. You take your 14 mil and your adjustable spanner or your crescent wrench. This is actually a crescent brand adjustable spanner. So it is a crescent wrench. Now the scary part for this, what I'm, I'm going to, um, I'm not going to release this spring tension because that's not what I need to do. What I need to do, let's knock this top hat off. Yeah, see my top hat, you can't tell, but it's all jacked up. I don't know what happened there. but it was, it was jacked, it still is. What's going on here? All right, so there's that. I don't know that that really changed that much. All right, that should be That should be how it goes. That, this, I feel like that is exactly like it just was. Maybe not. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put it all back together. But if you were taking this apart, what you would do is you would take this off and then you kinda have to be all skittish and you open this up and you hit it, ping, 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 and it, it pops all over the place and it's, so it's nerve-wracking. I mean, there's no denying it. And then to put it back on, you just do the same thing. Tighten it down. Pray. A little shout out. Some Ugga Duggas there. There's a torque number, I'm sure. All right, so we are a little loose. So this, here, I'll show you. This is kind of how you, oh, scary, scary. But I'll tell you, it's even more scary when this is all flying out because it's, it's, it's flying out. All right, there's one. I should really probably try and go get a haircut today. Go find somebody else. I could turn this into a vlog. Talk about my hair, other things, coffee, what I'm drinking. That's, I'm not gonna do that today. So there's that. So that is the safest, most dangerous way to compress a strut spring, shock spring, springy spring. All right then.